Hey everyone, hope you're all well. Today, I don't have a strict agenda, but there are a few things that I need to do around the house, and so I thought I would take you with me. Speaking of things around the house, you may notice that our bedroom is a little bit different. In the past, our headboard has historically lived between these two windows, and we had our nightstands on the side, and we had a giant dresser over there, but we have reconfigured things so that it maps to the layout in the Modsy designs. We moved the dresser into the guest bedroom, so our guest bedroom is crazy, and I have family coming over tomorrow, so apologies for the state of my guest room, but there are some things I need to do around the house. I need to do some cleaning. I need to do some laundry. So I figured I would take you with me. Oh, and show you an update of what's happening in my closet. All right, this is my closet situation right now. As I said, we got rid of the dresser and so all of our belongings that previously lived in the dresser needed to go elsewhere. So I'll insert some pictures from the night we first got all of our crap out of the dresser and each threw them into our closets. But since then I've gone through it and I moved my ski clothes into this large velvet box which I previously stored my summer clothes in and so my summer clothes are now out again. Everything is hanging and then things like socks, underwear, bras, and pajamas and my ski helmet that previously lived in the dresser are now up there. The organization isn't great but I really do like that all of my clothing except for outerwear is in one spot. So underwear, socks, pajamas, sweaters, clothing for all year round, and shoes, everything except outerwear is now centralized, and I really like that. I'm, if I can find an organization system that works, then I may keep it like this. While I'm here, I don't plan on actually doing any decluttering today, but I think it might be worth mentioning that every time I look at my clothes, I'm constantly thinking about whether or not I'm using that item, and if I'm not using it, should I be using it, or is it something that I can let go of? And I've lately been considering that these white shoes can probably be on their way out, and since I brought my summer clothing out of that box, I think I can probably live without this green shirt. I probably don't need two white shirts, and I don't think I need four pairs of shorts, so those are potential candidates come my next declutter. Actually, something that might be going out sooner. I know I recently made a video in which I said, another related question that I get asked all the time is, are my clothes wearing out? No, I can't really say that my clothing is wearing out really any faster. Black jeans and sweaters are really the only things that show much wear at all. And that was only a couple of weeks ago, but in that time, two of my sweaters, my red sweater and my black sweater, have basically become unwearable. They are wool blends. I wash them on the wool setting and I have a wool laundry detergent and all that good stuff and I stretch them out after they come out of the washer and I hang them on a drying rack to dry and they've been great for two seasons but all of a sudden, in the last couple of weeks, they've just shrunk beyond repair, and I, I should get them out of my closet. I really wouldn't feel comfortable wearing those anywhere, so those are probably on their way out. My first item on the agenda is laundry. This is my laundry closet, which you may or may not have already seen before. So first things first, I need to wash some sweaters for which I will use my Laundress wool and cashmere shampoo, which is great. Oh yeah, I posted about this on Instagram, but if you don't follow me on Instagram and most people don't, then you wouldn't have seen this, but this was a tray from our kitchen, and I think it's originally from Ikea, um, but it's been living in our kitchen and we honestly haven't been using it that much. We rarely have guests come over, so the other day I got the idea of putting our laundry supplies on it, and I think it looks really nice, and it was absolutely free. Before I get to work, I have a quick opinion poll for you guys. So this is our existing sofa. It's actually a love seat that lives in our living room. I can't remember how many inches deep it is, 
but we are looking at getting the Pottery Barn Chesterfield leather sofa in here, and it comes in a 96 and an 86 inch version. The 96 would come to this outer tape measure and to the end of the tape, and the 86 inch version would be to this piece of tape here and to this piece of tape. We lost our outer 96 inch piece of tape over here. But I think the 96 inch, I think it's technically too long if we want it to be centered here and not be butting up against the two chairs that we intend to put here. But I think you get so much more couch for the space. I don't know. What do you guys think? 86 inches or 96 inches? Decisions are hard. Oh yeah, and that sofa is 44 inches deep, which means when you walk in from the entryway right here, you're walking kind of right into the corner of the couch. But a cool thing that it does, being so deep, is that it brings together that side of the room with this side of the room, which has always just been kind of hanging out by itself and awkward, so. It does have some advantages. video some of you asked what cleaning products I was using and the answer is I'm using up some method products so in here I have the remainder of a bottle of all-purpose method cleaner and it's in this bottle that I got from Kishi home which I think looks much nicer and then I have the method daily granite cleaner my husband is very particular about the stone in our house but once we use these up my hope is that we can switch over to using this or refilling this bottle using this, which is the all-purpose cleaning concentrate by the Laundress. People rave about the smell of this online and I've taken off the top of the bottle and smelled it and it smells nice, but it's not quite living up to the hype of the reviews that I've seen for it online. So we shall see, but hopefully at the very least it will save me some plastic if I'm able to use this as a concentrate and it will last me a long time. And when I clean my house, when I'm not filming, I typically use one microfiber cloth and I go through my house cleaning each category of surfaces. So I start by cleaning all of the stone surfaces with one microfiber cloth and then I rinse it out and then I clean all of the mirrors and then I rinse it out and then I clean all of the countertops and all of the woodwork and all of the whatever and I'm able to just use one microfiber cloth instead of a bunch of paper towels. So every little bit helps. I also go over some surfaces like this plant or nightstands or the table. Really just any surface to sort of prep it for the wet clean. make sure that I am going through and paying a little attention to surfaces that I don't usually clean on a regular basis. Every time I clean, I like to sort of touch one unusual thing, like I don't usually clean the inside of this medicine cabinet, or I don't usually clean my stovetop, or my shower, or whatever it is. I like to have sort of one stretch cleaning item per session, and it really makes a difference. It doesn't pile up as badly, and it's a good opportunity to sort of go through and see what things can probably be tossed and clean any packaging. I actually just got this. It is the Title Brightening Enzyme Water Cream from Sunday Riley. I think it smells like cucumbers and kind of synthetic cucumbers, but not in a like wholly off-putting way. But 
it has two weights of hyaluronic acid. I know there are other products that have different weights of hyaluronic acid as well that are a much lower price point, but I had a gift card and I wanted to try it and I'm really liking it. So I'm cleaning up in the bathroom, the guest bathroom, and I found these three items, this vase and these two catch-alls. And we are in the midst of redecorating our house. I'm not sure that the style of these items will go with the new design. So I'm going to put these items in a trial separation box. And if we find that they have use in the new design, then great. And if not, they will be packed up and ready to go. Okay, I realize I'm jumping around a lot, but I had to show you this. I stopped to put something away in my husband's closet. Remember how I said we had to move all the stuff that we previously stored in our dressers to our closets? Well, my husband's wasn't tidy to begin with, and now it's crazy. That man, I'll have to work on this. Speaking of the dresser, it is now here living in the guest room. It was actually part of the same set of furniture anyway, but we dragged it in here so it would be out of our bedroom, but that means that everything is kind of jam-packed in here. Eventually, of course, we're going to be getting rid of all of this furniture, but for now, it's just going to be a little tight, but we'll see what I can do with it. Okay, so this is still kind of a work in progress. The bed is not made, but I went through and dusted all of the surfaces. I took all of my husband's personal effects and put them in this closet. The dresser is still here. I couldn't remove those towels by myself, so I'm going to wait until my husband gets home and then we can remove them. And Danny left so much cat hair on this bed, but I vacuumed it all off and I've already started washing the sheets. So that will be done soon. I think I'm going to tuck away these two items as well. I do hope to reuse the tumbleweed once our rooms are redecorated, but for now, I think it would be good to get it out of the way.
right, that is the master bedroom, and for that matter, the entire house done. My walls look really green in this light for some reason. At least on camera they do. Not in real life, they don't. Anyway, it is close to somebody's dinner time, so I am going to wrap this video up here. I hope you've enjoyed seeing some of the changes that we've been making around our house. We've only changed the layout in this room, and to me it makes such a huge difference the way we're able to use this space. So I'm really excited for the changes to come, and I thought I would share the process with you. Anyway, that's going to be it for me today, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> Leave you alone. <laughs>